What's up guys, welcome back to another video, back here in today's video, what we are playing, I, today I'm going to show you a showcase how, or how to make civil, civilizations, oh god damn, I forgot to do Cyprus, the Italian, god damn, let me fix those, should be there, let me get that color, I understand why I need those colors, let me just finish this off and get there. It's supposed to have it. So see on the portal and yeah, so yeah. Here we go. We're gonna start with how to make a civilization. First is to of course need to a river. To make a lot of farms there. Second of all, near to the sea or like that. So yeah. So yeah, so you can have a more, I can make farms there near to the coast. So yeah, let's go. And uh, this is just how it should look like. This is around the world. Like, let's do first North America. Some are not in data because it took, I cannot do that because it took so long time. So yeah, here. Especially near to the east of America and south of Canada are near to the rivers are mostly uh, like more easier to make a civilization because uh, makes sense kind of makes sense because in these areas the dark red areas means it is uh, possible but kind of hard this, this color means kind of, it's very hard so I don't recommend it not the best, so yeah, don't go there. And this color means it is almost uninhabitable. The next one is non habitable, but people can visit. And this one, this color means, uh, but only experts can. In these two areas come to the same thing. No, this area. Then here, no one can come here because it's too damn cold. So yeah. So yeah, in the North American region, the U.S. Eastern U.S.A. and the rivers, and and the West Coast here, mostly the West Coast and and the, near to the rivers of America is more popular. Like those, so yeah, Alaska too. Actually, fun fact, for some reason, if we live here, very nice, except for this area. Here near to the river suits very nice and here actually even those very damn cold it's very nice The next thing is right here. Here's the I think the Louisiana river It's this big and has a lot of streams that people can use it for farming and then and Doing stuff that we, we did back in the day. So yeah Can we cannot we cannot paint I want to make it also so yeah, I'm not touching anything so yeah here, uh, here in this Mexico is not the best, so yeah, don't go there. It's very hot, it's just desert. Here means mild climate, very nice, but it's not okay. Here, Mexico City, like more, like, better areas. I should, it's not how it should look like it. Give me one second, it should be like, let me fix it, it should be like this, yes. Because actually it's like this because it's weird. Don't ask questions. Because this is uh, how it makes it. Because it is uh, more people in here because it's way nicer. Rain is more like habitable there. And yeah, it's very pretty warm there. So yeah. Now to South America. I'll come to the South of Panama. He, Panama City is South America. Shut up. Like Central America. Central America, I'll come to South America first. I know it's Northern America, but I don't care. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. But uh, here, I think this is Nicaragua. Uh, here, I think it should be here. Has uh, here in the, in the near to the Atlantic Ocean is better. In the Pacific is not the best. Costa Rica, again, is very habitable. Even though the mountains, in the Panama Canal, of course. Like, if you try to make a civilization, I don't care about the conditions now. Because I don't care about those. 
now here on the coast is the best area especially in argentina look this is how it should look like because argentina has the mo most best second best land for agriculture behind canada actually so yeah so on all the coast is the best areas so yeah and we go inland into the uh to the uh, amazon forest it's not the best you can see that so yeah we don't want to do that so most people live in the coast or near to a river because you can see but in south america they only matter about the coast because except for the argentina and uruguay area mostly they like to near to a river so yeah let's go now the next is uh africa africa the sahara desert no one particularly lives here in this oh god i'm laggy oh my god okay i should not be zoomed down as much because it gets laggy because here's the red uh, light red means it says like again no one lives in the sahara desert this area means bordering but still uh, habitable then here in south in western africa is typically like easily to make a civilization here too the problem is here because this is a forest too like the, it's not big as the amazon no of course not it's, amazon is the biggest uh, forest in the world and yeah this is just a forest it's kind of unhabitable so yeah not the best area to live so i'll just say that yeah here and the you will see you just said that the, the coast is the best area to live in technically no in the namibia 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 and i forgot how, but namibia is that that's how yeah that's how i said it the coast here is desert so it's not that Yes, when I know I live to a, I live near to a desert. I live in a desert, but because coast and mostly is more moisture in in inner, so most people live here. And the actual one fa fun fact: they only have one port, actually two. Actually, one of them is the gap, and the other port is for fishing and maybe some trading, but not as much. So yeah, not not the best area to live there for making civilization here south especially on this like on the tip of africa here is the best and the rivers of course and madagascar madagascar all of the coast is the best inner is okay uh, it's just done yeah horn in africa here is okay it's practically even though it's a desert it's very typically warm there it's not like in the sahara desert or even though straight ahead the equator is right here it's particularly warm due to the winds, uh, the warm, uh, cold winds actually, because they're blowing like this to them, so it's typically warmer. I may be wrong, so yeah, shut up. I don't know. Just tell me in the comments. But yeah, now to AG. I'm doing Europe as the last, I think Europe as the last thing because it's the most complex, so yeah, no. So yeah. Oh, forgot about North Africa actually. North Africa and the western coast of Africa, they live on here. Like, northern Africa is all the ways on the Mediterranean Sea, or for Egypt and Sudan, Djibouti, Eritrea, Somalia, and Ethiopia, rivers, or the Red Sea, or the Mediterranean Sea. Literally that. So, yeah. The Nile River really helped them in that situation. So, yeah. And you will not understand why here because there is some osses, so that's the reason why I colored them because also is a good spot to live in too. Next thing is Asia. Asia, I'm not talking about why is this because it's perfectly warm here because of this strip here makes it warm. So, yeah, shop it here in Egypt and, Pal and Palestine. I know what you shouldn't get to give me, man, now and don't ask questions why it's in 800 BC. Shut the freak up, but okay, let's go. Uh, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, especially in the greenish areas, are the best to, to make a civilization. And now, the best place to make a civilization, in my opinion, I know it's my, in my opinion, shut up, 
Okay, it's Iraq, 100% the best on the Tigris River and the Mraj area. I don't remember the other river, Tigris and the Yoga River. So, yeah, this is the best. I'll tell you how much this is literally the best river. Literally, literally, civilization start in Persia right here. On, I'll show you where right there. Persia started right on the on this area. This was Persian. I think this is not Persian still. And I think so. I yeah, it is Persian. It started right there, and here's Persian still until the Turkish. It's like the first civilization. I, it, but in my opinion, the first civilization was Egypt. Egypt, because he started in the middle of the river, then went northwards. They found the delta. So yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, because I just saw that they started like this, a documentary that they started like this, so yeah. Now, the the Persian Gulf, so yeah, or the Arabian Gulf, that's how I like to say it, because this is literally in the hour classes in the Arab. And you don't understand why I need this here, because it's particularly warm, so it makes it there. Don't ask questions. And here there's the Persian Gulf, which uh, actually has good wind temperatures, not gonna lie. Even though it's hot, but it's typically easy to make a, a like here, a civilization, because it's near to our coast, it's easy. And yeah, Oman, you like, Oman, easy, mountains, and uh, cold air coming from the Indian Ocean. Okay, the next thing is here, you will not understand, because it's warm, it's the same thing, but because in this areas are mostly less greenish, because this has little green, the deosis, and here more greenish, but in the mountains, so yeah. And Yemen, Yemen, and this western coast of Saudi Arabia is very mountainous, so it's mostly moisture, and that's, that's why they made it easier to live in Medina and Mecca. Mecca, I think, is right here. Where's, where, where is it? I think this is this is Mecca here. I remember being here, I think, so right in the north. Um, and Mecca will be here, I remember. So, yeah. I may be wrong. I don't know. Don't ask. Uh, they can't be lame at me. I'm not the best, but at least I know a lot. I like it. So, yeah. Now, today... <laughs> Ah, I hate this Russia. I hate you so much. What the hell? So yeah, this as in this river, this Russia has the Siberian front near to a river or like near like somewhere near to a river. Like here in this area is most populated. Siberia, of course, no one lives there. Of course, in the middle of Siberia, no one lives there. No one except if you're visiting there. So yeah, here in East Asia, it is kind of. Here's more the greenish areas, and in Central Asia, you can see the same thing. So, yeah, and more technically warm and very nice, even though it has a lot more sand. Doesn't matter, it's cool there. And here in China, it was northwest China, as a particularly, I'm not gonna talk what's happening there because I know it's gonna get controversial and get taken down. I will not say it, but I kind of feel sad for that. Because I'm the same reason as them, so yeah, kind of hits in my stomach. So yeah, all China, and there's two of this, this China and this China, I hit them both. No one cares, no one wants China, just bring as two, one nation here, one nation there, one nation here, in Tibet, and one nation as a Muslim state in China. I know. So yeah, rivers in China too, it's more technically, and the eastern China, it's the best area, to, it's the biggest uh, habitable area in the world, second, sorry, S uh, third, sorry, and here until Vietnam, and boom, here like this, rivers and the uh, jungles of Myanmar, not the best place to live in, like near, if you're not near to a river, not the best, and El Myanmar. Yeah, if you don't understand, you don't know, so, so shut the fuck up. But okay, so we're going to now to Iran. Iran, I didn't focus on, I forgot. Iran has this, and Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Georgia. They have a good coast. Azerbaijan, Iran, and Turkmenistan have the good coast. Technically a coast, but they're line local, so yeah. I don't know. 
Tarhan is right there. I think a little south of it. There, I think so. See, yeah. Very nice thoughts. Uh, that at the beginning of my like first time doing ge like start to like geography, I thought it was literally here on the coast, right there. I thought it would be like here, but no, it's in the mountains. So yeah, not the best spot, but not the best in civilization. So yeah, now the Armenian is here. So yeah. And their capital, I think, passes through is there. So yeah. So you know, it's not a bad spot. Tbilis too is very good spot. Like near to this stupid mountain, range in the Caucasus. Let me fix that because it doesn't look normal. It should be like this actually. So yeah, it should be like this. Should show. So that's how hard to live in this area. I mean, I still forgot. I will talk about that. And yeah. And this area? No, hate that area. No, this is which let's uh, it makes Russia Eurasian. So yeah. Now the next part, the Indian Plateau, uh, Pakistan, near the rivers, the Islamabad, Karachi, Nehmala, the you know this area. I'm not gonna say it because then they'll say my 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 in the in the comments. So I will not say it. And here the coastal areas in there, it's not the best because it's very dry. The dude is really makes it okay to live there. And now I'm salty. Now I'm gonna do the uh, south, the rest of south. Vietnam, Cambodia is nice until here. Malaysia, best area here, very nice. Not gonna lie. Except the east, I'll, I'll talk about later because I'll count those as Oceania, except for the Philippines, the last thing. Here, the Philippines mostly is nice, but some areas not the best. So yeah, let's go to the next area, Europe. Oh, I said Australia, Australia. Sorry, I said Europe as the last thing, or Oceania. That's how I like to say. It, but you, got some American zones is actually called Oceania, so I have to say Australia. So yeah, don't get offended in this, cause I'm just joking. I'm a monkey, so yeah, don't ask questions. So yeah. Let's go. Here's a uh, Malaysia. This is a uh, Indonesia and the Spice Islands. You get it? You get it? I know the Indish Indonesians are gonna get pissed at me for that. Shut up! It's a goof. It's not me being goofing around. Now Australia, the stupid desert. The coastal areas are good. And then not the best. It's not the best. Just don't live there. And New Zealand, the best place in the world to live, I swear. This is the best place, really. Just don't live in the west, southwest, just even in here. You are the best place to live in the world. Wallah. It's the best. Okay, now Antarctica. Antarctica, but the clean, no one lives here. The eastern side here, maybe live a little. But not like populated. I this is wrong. Sorry, I have to fix this area because this is not true. Again here, I don't think they're gonna. Uh, this is the closest. Like here, only near to the horn of it. Like some people. So yeah, Antarctica. Typically, no one lives there. Only for visits and doing research here. Greenland, I'll count as a continent for this video. I know it's in North America or Europe. So shut up. My choice. It's my video. And yeah, no one lives here. I'll tell you, no one lives here. Even in Antarctica, there's some white spots. So typically, this is the least habitat. There's about only 1,000 in Antarctica, but 7 permanently, I guess, for now. So yeah. That's the Europe. Europe gotta be the best place to start. Because Asia, the problem is Siberia that ruined the whole thing, but... Europe, the problem is the Alps. That's the only problem with this. It's the only the Alps. You can see this. It's just the Alps, the problem. But the rest of it, the European plains the, and the mountains in Norway. That's the only problems. And yeah, this is the best place out there we can to start near... In my opinion, I have three spots to start, and this is why I, Europe is the best place to start a civilization in 
in the end, but my fav three favorite places are the Solar Civilization is here in this area. This area. Let me do a civilization. An example. Num civilization number one here. All of these lands right here, like this. Because all the like all of this tigers rivers and uh, that other river. Number two is Egypt, a hundred percent a good spot. Literally, the Nile River is the best area. Not gonna lie, the third best in Europe. Any place, especially France, the French area. It's or and or no, 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 no. I know you're gonna get. Shut up! I know. Or literally, or you can be or Russia actually because it's a big spot to, like. Because it's a, they're European fat plane, so yeah. So this is gonna be the end of the video. I know it's long, but yeah. Just to show a map. This took three hours. Just please like this video and subscribe, please. This took over three hours. Yeah.